Hey everyone, welcome to another My Tutoring Bead video. This one's on finding consecutive integers. Um, this video is a little bit lengthy, so if you need to fast forward a little bit, then you can do that. There's four different examples. Uh, but first, let's just talk about what consecutive integers even mean. So let's talk about integers first. Um, integers are numbers like uh, 7 or 23 or negative 16, they can be positive or negative, but there's no fractions and no decimals. Um, so they are uh, those numbers that you would see on a number line, basically. And consecutive means numbers that are one right after the other. So an example of two consecutive numbers are seven and eight. Um, another example would be uh, 23 and 24. Those are consecutive numbers. They just come one, one right after the other. So when we're looking at these types of problems and they're asking for consecutive integers, that's what they're talking about. So let's look at our problem here. We've got the sum of two consecutive integers is 77. What are the integers? Well, basically we need to set up a equation so that we can solve this. And we have a sum and we have two consecutive integers. So we know we're going to be adding up two numbers and that's going to give us our, a, a sum of 77 when we add those two numbers up. So where do we even start with this? Well, we're going to need variables. So a lot of times we just use x as a variable of our two consecutive integers. So our first number is going to be just x by itself. And then the second number is going to be x plus 1 because any consecutive integer, if as you can see over here, if I use these numbers, if 7 is x, then 8 is just that number plus 1 more. So 8 would stand for x plus 1. It works with this 23 and 24 as well. If I set 23 as x, then 24 is just one more than that, so it's x plus 1. So these numbers over here on the side are just examples, but these two numbers, when I add them up, it should give me my sum of 77. Um, and I'm just going to solve this equation once I get it set up. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's set up our equation. We've got x, that's our first integer, plus, because we want the sum, x plus 1. And x plus 1, again, is just my second integer. We just don't know what those integers are yet. And all of that together is going to equal 77. So now I've got an equation that I can solve. So I've got two x's here. There's one and there's one. And then I've also got um, another number over here. This is just a positive one. So I'm going to do what's called combine like terms. I'm going to start with my x's. I've got two x's right here. So that's just going to be rewritten as 2x. And then I want to uh, drop down this plus one. I don't have anything else to add to it. So that's just going to go down here beside my 2x. And then I'm going to drop down the rest of my equation, which is equal 77, so that I can solve, again, I'm going to solve for x. So now we're just doing basic algebra here. We need to get rid of that 1. So since it's being added, I'm going to subtract it from both sides. So that leaves me with just 2x on this side because those 1's cancel each other out, so that just kind of goes away. And then that equals 77 minus 1, which is 76. So now I've got one more step to do since this x is being multiplied times 2. I need to divide in order to get rid of that 2 over here on this side because my goal is just to get x by itself. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2. That gets rid of those 2's over there and that's x equals and then 76 divided by 2. I'll just do this over here really quickly so you can see exactly how I'm doing this problem. 76 divided by 2. 2 can go into 7 3 times. 3 times 2 is 6, 7 minus 6 is 1, and then I'm going to bring down that 6, and then 2 into 16 is 8. So for this particular problem, x equals 38. Now we're not quite done yet because remember the question is asking us what are the integers? They want to know all of the integers uh, that we're looking for. So we know one of them, we know that x equals 38. So then the next consecutive integer, it makes sense, x plus one more is 39. So there you go. Those are my two integers, that, my two consecutive integers 
that equals 77. And there's a great check for this problem too if you want to check your work. You can just plug these numbers in and do exactly what the problem is telling you to. So what I'm going to do is since it says the sum of two consecutive integers, I'm going to add these two integers up that I figured out. So 38 plus 39 and it should give me the sum of 77 if I did this correctly. So 8 plus 9 is 17, 3 plus 3 is 6, plus one more, that gives me 7. So it checks out, there's my 77 that I needed. All right, let's go on to another problem, number two. The sum of three consecutive integers is 51. What are the integers? So this one's a little different because uh, it's still got the sum, but now they're looking for three consecutive integers. We're still gonna set it up uh, uh, almost the same way, except now we've just got another integer. So let me give you an example of three consecutive integers. It'd be like three, four, five. Again, if we set that first number equal to x, then our second consecutive integer should still be the x plus one because it's one more than that first number. But then with my third integer, I'm still comparing it to the first number, so this one is x plus two because three plus two would give us five in this example. But that works for any three consecutive integers. It's always x, then x plus one, and then x plus two for our three consecutive integers. If I had a fourth consecutive integer, then I would just continue on with this and I would write x plus three as my fourth consecutive integer. But since this one's just asking us for three, let's go ahead and set this problem up. <clears throat> Now these are just example numbers over here. These aren't my actual answers. So you can tell if we add these up, it's not gonna give me 51. So we have to figure out which numbers do give us 51. So again, I've got x and then x plus one. And then my third number is gonna be x plus two. I'm just using these to represent my three consecutive integers for now. And I'm, I can solve for x and figure out exactly what those are. So here's my equation, x plus x plus one plus x plus two, it's a lot of pluses going on, equals 51. I'm just doing this kind of slow so that you can follow along with me if you're doing this at home as well. Uh, so I, again, I'm gonna combine my like terms. I've got those x's and then for this one, I've got a positive one and a positive two that I need to combine. I'll just do those in different colors so you can see how to combine them. Uh, so my x's go together, I've got three x, and then my positive one plus my positive two should give me positive three. So it's three x plus three. And I'm just gonna drop down my equals 51. Okay, so now I can solve for x in this format. Since this is being added, this plus three is being added, I need to subtract it from both sides. So minus three here, minus three, 51 minus three, it's gonna be 48. And then I've got these threes cancel out. So it just leaves me with three x equals 48. Now since this x is being multiplied times three, I need to divide, always do the opposite. Divide both sides by three. Those cancel, oops, those cancel out. x equals, and then 48 divided by three. Do that over here. So three goes into four one time, and then four minus three is one. Drop down my eight, three can go into 18 six times. So that's gonna be x equals 16. So again, now we need to plug that back in because they're still asking, what are the integers? They want all of the integers. So our first number is 16. Our second number is 16 plus one, so that's 17. And our third number is 16 plus two. So that's 18. So those are my three consecutive integers. And again, you can check this and add them all up, should equal 51. 
Okay, number three, the sum of two even consecutive integers is 38. So we're still adding on this one, but the thing that's different is that we're looking for even consecutive integers. So basically it's the same thing, we're just skipping those odd numbers. So numbers like two and four, 16 and 18, those are consecutive even integers. Um, we still start with our first number as x, but then look, look what happens with this next number. From two to four, that's a jump of two. From 16 to 18, that's another jump of two. So instead of having x plus one as our second number, we want x plus two. Because these are even consecutive numbers, we're skipping over that odd number. So we still set it up the same way, x plus x plus two. So we're still adding these integers up, and that should give us 38. And then we can still solve for x just as we did before. Here are my two x terms. I've got two x. I don't have anything else to add to two, so I'm just gonna drop this down and, and write plus two. And then I'm gonna drop down my 38 and continue solving for x with this one. So again, we need to get rid of this two first. So we're going to subtract two from both sides. That gets rid of that. Two x equals 36. And then we need to divide, since these are being multiplied, we have to do the opposite, so we divide by two. Those cancel out, so that leaves me with x equals 18. Then I can plug that number back in to the first x that I have, so x equals 18. And then my next number is x plus two, so that's 18 plus two, which is 20. So those are my two consecutive even integers. Let's go on to the last one, number four, the sum of three odd consecutive integers. So this one's similar to the last one, but it's, we're talking about odd integers now. So again, I always like to give you an example. Three, five, and seven are consecutive odd integers. Uh, 21, 23, and 25 are odd consecutive integers. So again, we're going to start with the first number as our x. That's what we're going to set up as our variable. And I just use x just because it's an easy variable. Um, and then 3 plus 2 gives me my next number. And then for this third number, it's 3 plus 4 to give us our 7. Um, same with down here with 21, 23, and 25. If we set up 21 as x, 23 is x plus 2, and 25 is x plus 4. So basically, it's a little confusing because we're talking about odd numbers, but we're using even numbers to add to the x. We're using 2 and 4. Um, but it's always 2 and 4, and then you, know, you could continue on and do 6 plus 8 plus 10 if you needed more consecutive integers. But anyways, let's go ahead and set this up. We set it up just the same way that we did the other ones, x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4 equals our sum of 81. We're going to combine those x's, and then we've got these numbers that don't have any variables with them, so those get combined together. So we've got 3x, positive 2, and a positive 4 gives me a positive 6, and that all is all equal to 81, and then I can solve from here. Get rid of this 6 by subtracting. So we've got 3x equals 75, is 81 minus 6 is 75. Then I would need to divide by 3 on both sides. Those cancel out. x equals 75 divided by 3. Just do this over here on the side so you can see exactly what we're doing. 6 and that's 1 and 5, 3 can go into 15 5 times, so my x equals 25. So again, that's my first integer is 25, and then 25 plus 2 is 27, and then 25 plus 4 is 29. So those are my three consecutive odd integers. There we go. So I hope that video helped you. Uh, please visit my page if you need any more help with math, and please subscribe too. Thanks for watching.